Martin, congratulations. Back in the running now here in the Grand Slam. What pressure was on you after the defeat yesterday and it was a good performance to bounce back? Um, yeah, we, it was a good game. I think um, the only big difference uh, compared to yesterday was that um, I was running away and I was still running away. Um, yesterday I, I missed a point, like uh, controlling the game from the beginning because uh, obviously missing doubles and today I didn't. And yeah, I think uh, that was the big difference uh, today. Does it affect your preparation knowing that this was a must win where yesterday you still get second chances? Uh, honestly, um, uh, in, in one way, I thought like uh, you have to win everything to make sure that you go through the group. Uh, so obviously, I I turned up today and I said to myself, "You're not going to give up now. Uh, you're still going to go as, as as far as you can, as best as you can." And uh, yeah, um, there was there was probably pressure on, uh, pressure on my side, but I didn't really fought in that way, to be honest. We've seen Bo do some amazing, brilliant things in the ladies' game. Were you expecting a little bit more from her? This afternoon to push you a little bit harder. Oh, well, probably yes, but I think she wasn't like really playing bad. I mean, it, she was playing all right, but I think I was just like too dominant, especially in my throws and everything. I made it hard for her to uh, like like get the foot in the door to make sure to get a break or something. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think that was like the winning key in my my side of you. And then looking at the final game against Danny Nopper, are you excited for that challenge? Obviously, I'm excited for the challenge. I mean, I'm looking uh, forward to that game. I know that I probably have to win high again to make sure that I'm going through that group. But um, yeah, to, today was a good day. Tomorrow is a new day. And we're going to see what's going to happen. Thank you. Martin, where do you think the form is at the moment? Earlier in the year, you were playing really, really well. You've been playing a lot of events this year. Is it sort of been a little bit draining maybe and the form's tailed off slightly? Uh, well, I have to say yes. It, obviously, it is a very busy this time of the year and also was very busy at the start of the year, like like February till uh, June, I think it is. Um, but, you know, this is part of the job. You have to get on with it. Um, you have to be... Um, like aware of the fact that you're going to miss a lot of time at home with your family and everything but um, at one point it is draining to be honest uh, from my point of view but on the other hand it's also a very enjoyable life you know you, if you find the good things in it not only the bad then it's a very good life to be honest <laughs> is that sort of part of the position you're in I guess the guys in the Premier League they're able to miss more events whereas the position you're trying to fight your way and get up those rankings towards that top 10 you can't afford to, to skip European tours you can't afford to skip pro tours things like that no obviously I, I'm not in a position to really say that I can skip anything I mean I, d I did it now after winning in uh, Switzerland yeah. because I was aware of the fact that I'm going to be in the world match play and everything but normally I'm not in a position to be sure of the fact that I can that I can miss like anything I have to put in the effort for everything um, if the point is coming that I'm going to be in the Premier League this is something different then but uh, for now I have to play like literally everything but I'm good with that I'm feeling good with that um, we saw the PDC Europe Super League uh, last week Kai Gotthard was obviously the player to get through that to Ali Pali, he's had a really, really good year. Just tell us a little bit about his progression. I'm sure you've sort of watched on from afar how, how Kai's been playing. Uh, well, Kai is doing really great this year. I mean, um, he, he was doing great in the Modos. Uh, uh, is it Super Series, Super yeah, League? Yeah. I don't know how it's called. <laughs> uh, but he was very uh, he was very good in the Modos ones. He was also playing very good as a challenge to a player in the Players' Championships as well. And uh, I mean, this is just like, uh, as we say in Germany, it's just a cherry on the top of the cake. And um, he's doing quite well. He was playing really good. He needed to fight his way through that one. And uh, yeah, fair play to him. He did well. And I wish him all the best in the world. How much of a part does that tournament still play in the progression? Because the, m many of the players that are in that tournament obviously don't have a tour card and they're, they're looking to get to a position that, that you're in. Does it play a big part, do you feel, in, in getting players ready for things like the Pro Tour? <laughs> well, it's... Um, that's a deep question, to be honest. But I, I, I would like to say that I miss a little bit the old times when we had like uh, five match days of Super League play against uh, uh, like 15 other players in one weekend. And it was a very good practice because the other ones can play really good. You have to, you have to play like literally over 90, 95 to make sure to win like everything. And even then it's not sure. Um, but right now, I think uh, getting through the group is one thing. Um, and then in the single uh, KOs, like like last 16s, then you have to, yeah, like show your guts if I'm allowed to say that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, th this is the thing, and uh, I think this is the most important thing that the players have to 
like Wurkun, that they show some nerves when it's uh, the most important. Thank you, Martin. Well done today. Thank you. Martin, last time I saw you on the big stage, it was at the European Championship. It was a painful tournament. Can it be difficult to regroup after a tournament like that and focus on the events ahead? I mean, obviously, I'm always looking forward to progressing and uh, doing better as I did like last year or the, the, uh, the years before. But I, I have to say, I mean, I'm, I'm probably not in the best shape i'm probably not playing the best arts at the moment but i'm like literally winning games more often than i did before so I've, I've i've managed to win these two titles get into the european championships as number one but in the end it doesn't matter if you're number one or number 32 if you're not managed to win your first game is it you mentioned there that you maybe not playing your best stuff but you're still getting the victories is that the progress that you've made as a player and a, a real sign of how young players then you know get better and better that They've got a B game rather than just re relying on all or nothing. I think that's uh, like literally the key to be one of the best players in the world because if you're not playing your best starts and if you don't feel probably very good, then you still have to go up there and play as best as you can and still win. If you do that, then you're in a very good shape for like being in the top 32, top 16 and whatever comes next. But I just think, you know, I'm talking, I mean, I can only talk for myself to think. Um, I think I really haven't played that good. I mean, I wasn't bad at the start of the year from average-wise, but um, I just managed to win. <laughs> what can I say? I just, I, I, that's why I just did. You know, I wasn't playing great, but I just managed to win. That's it. And when you do start winning titles, do you then start to look ahead and start to set more loftier goals for things like this event, player championship finals and the world championship? Like, yes, I want to get to this stage now. I mean, I'm in in that case. I'm really putting myself under pressure. You know, I, I want to be not only in these tournaments. I want to progress in these tournaments. And um, yesterday, I was very angry and fuming about the performance I played because I, I felt like I could have that one. You know, I could I could win that one. And I well, I just didn't. But, but those things. And I thought like, well, being in the last sixteen of the Grand Slam would be a very nice thing. But now I made it like <laughs> literally harder for myself. But um, I think this is just the way how things things go if you if you took one misstep you have to two, you have to take another two uh going in the right direction cheers Martin. thanks for talking to us thank you thank you